Loaded with productive and time-saving features, Roland Print Studio offers Mac users a quick and easy RIP software solution for large format Roland printers and printer cutters. At the heart of Roland Print Studio is the Adobe PDF Print Engine that allows users to work quickly and accurately with native PDF files and to eliminate common problems often associated with layers and transparencies. Print Studio's advanced workflow tools give users complete control of your graphic output with a selection of color editing and production tools that include spot color options, contour cutting, step and repeat functions, and intuitive tiling and nesting tools to make the most of materials and device capabilities. Roland Print Studio also includes a costing feature that automatically calculates print costs for effortless quotations and a sophisticated spooler function for quick reprints and access to job settings history. At no extra cost, Print Studio features an embedded profiling module for creating custom ICC profiles and delivering accurate color reproduction while optimizing ink consumption. Roland Print Studio, the easy way to get the most out of your Mac and your Roland. Roland Print Studio offers a graphic and intuitive user interface. The software is split into two main windows, an application window with your tools and devices, and an image bar for organizing your files. The application window features two tabs. The settings tab includes your printer settings, a key manager for registering your devices, preferences, and workflow. In the main tab, you can access information file manager to import images, the print spooler, the trash can, a media explorer which includes full profiling capability, editing tools, tiling tools, and all of your devices. The image bar can be set up with multiple tabs to help you organize your imported files. Here we've set up tabs for print cut files, print only files, and white ink files. It's easy to add a new tab by right-clicking and selecting New Tab. You can organize your files by project, client, device, or whatever system works best for you. To import a file into the image bar, first select the Desired Destination tab. Open File Manager. Scroll to where your files are located. Select the file you want to import and click Open. As that file is being imported, you can select a new tab and select multiple items to be imported. Each file will then be ripped at a lower resolution for preview and imported into the image bar. This operation is multitasking. You can close the file manager and the imports will continue in the background. Once the files are loaded, they can be previewed in their associated tabs within the image bar. To view a file in high resolution, simply drag the file to the desktop. You can then use the mouse to zoom in, zoom out, or move the file. If you want to crop an area, select the Crop tool and outline the desired area. Choose Copy, and this area will then be exported into the image bar as a new file, ready to be printed. If you want to print a file, select it from the image bar and drag it to the desired device. Select your resolution, roll size, media, color mode, quality, and action to be performed. Click on the print button and the file will be processed or printed. You can check your progress by opening the spooler.
If you wish to modify a file before printing, drag the file to the desired printer and open the image layout window. This layout window allows you to enter a scaling factor or graphically scale the file. You can maximize the image on a sheet, mirror the file for backlit printing, and choose your orientation. You can easily return it back to a one-to-one -one scale and center the graphic. If you want to print multiple copies, enable step and repeat. Add copies by clicking the plus button. You can also add additional margin between files. Changing the scale of one item will immediately change the scale of all repeated elements as well. You can also easily add crop marks to your file by choosing between a variety of crop mark options. Roland Print Studio also has the ability to support contour cutting. Any file containing a cut contour shape will appear in the image bar with a blade icon. You can drag one of these files to either a Roland Print Cut device or to a Roland Print Only device, and later send it to a Roland Cutter. When sending a file to a Print Cut device, drag the file to the device. Open the layout window, Click on the Cutting tab and enable Cutting Contour. You will see the Cut Contour line appears in red. You then have the option to cut instantly after printing, or you can select Use Printer's Registration Marks and disable the Instant Cut button for a Print, Laminate, Cut Workflow. When sending a Cut Contour file to a Roland print-only device that will be later cut on a Roland cutter, drag your file to the device. Open the layout window. Click the Cutting tab and Enable Cutting. Again, you will see the Cut Contour line in red. You can then select Print Registration Marks and the printer will automatically add the quadraline registration marks that your rolling cutter will recognize. Roland Print Studio also offers unique color management tools, which include spot color management and Pantone licensed libraries. You are able to take a file containing Pantone colors and see the list of embedded colors within the file. Using the Details tab, you can highlight a desired color and compare the achievable color within the printer's color gamut. By clicking on the Visual tab, you can also see the desired color highlighted within the graphic to ensure you have the proper colors in the right spots. Using a color measurement device, you are able to pick a color and assign it to specific targets. Here, we want the blue water in this graphic to match the official blue used on Roland business cards. First, we select the blue in the graphic. In the Details tab, choose your spectrophotometer. Calibrate the device and then physically scan the color of the business card. Print Studio will assign the scanned color to the space and show you the achievable color within the printer's color gamut. If you want to print multiple files nested together, simply drag your first file to the desired printer. Go to Action and change it from Print to Nest. You can then change the number of copies and edit if desired. When done, select Print. Next, we can add another file. Change it to six copies and select Print. Then add a third file. Choose two copies and select Print. When you go to the print spooler, you will see that there is a job called Auto Nest that contains all of those files spooled and nested together at the desired scale and quantities. For printers supporting white, 
Print Studio offers a full white ink workflow by using the white tab. If the vector art file already contains an RDG underscore white spot color, you can select it to print your white layer. Even if the file is not designed with a white layer, you can generate a white layer from the CMYK data. It's easy to preview what is going to be printed in white by hiding your background image. You can then colorize everything that is white and change the opacity so that you can easily preview what areas will be printed in white ink. This file is another example, using a TIFF file with an extra alpha channel that will be used as a white spot color. Under the white tab, select Use an extra channel. If the channel is labeled RDG underscore white, your Roland device will automatically print the white channel. If you don't have the spot color channel, you can also generate a white layer from the TIFF file's CMYK data, once again hiding the background image and colorizing the white areas for easy previewing. Another option is to generate white where there is no ink, so that it will print white wherever there is no CMYK data. A final option is to select full page coverage, which will print white over the entire graphic area with the CMYK data on top. Roland Print Studio also offers a very unique layout tool, enabling nesting and several more options. To use this tool, open the edit window. Choose your printer and proper roll size. Then simply drag the elements you want into the window. If you want to print multiple copies, hold the control button while dragging and enter the number of copies, in this case, 35. The edit window allows you to manually scale and rotate items, as well as manually position individual copies. Another powerful tool is the nesting tool. That will allow you to automatically nest your files. If you need to add new files, you can do so by dragging them in and clicking on nesting. You can also select nest to adjust to size. You are able to nest files with all types of elements. For example, files containing cut contours, PDF files, raster files, JPEG files, RGB files, CMYK files, and files with different input profiles. There are no limitations. Once your layout is finished, you can remove the surrounding white areas and then create your new document. This file is now ready to be printed. You can do that by dragging it to the printer and selecting Print. Once again, the file will be spooled and processed. Roland Print Studio's tiling application offers a very flexible and advanced way to optimize tiles. To do this, drag a file into the tiling application. Define its scaling. Define your media size. And let the software calculate the optimum number of tiles, while also providing the media usage. Roland Print Studio also allows you to fine adjust the tiles manually. Or you may choose a select number of rows and columns. If you need to add an overlap, you can select the areas where you need it. Define the overlap value, and the overlap area will appear in red. The tiling application also provides the ability to add grommet marks and finishing frames. This is done in the wizard by clicking Add Multiple, selecting the sides you want the grommets to be put on, the diameter of the grommets, and the number of grommets desired. Click on the Create button and the software will automatically add the desired number of grommet marks in position. Tiling also offers a unique feature to load and save templates. You can reload an existing template that contains a predefined number of tiles, overlap, and grommets. If satisfied, click on Create Poster. Select Create New Poster, and the newly tiled image will appear in the image bar. 
If you wish to print the tiles, simply drag to the desired printer. You can either print all the tiles at once, or go to the layout window to view them one by one and print them selectively. Roland Print Studio offers the ability to profile media in a very easy and intuitive way. The application is wizard-based and guides you through all of the steps necessary to create a profile. You're able to store as many medias as you need and as many combinations of resolutions and color modes as necessary. Profiling can easily be done by following the wizard, printing targets and measuring them. At every step of the profile creation, you have the option of printing a test ink chart to verify your curves. Transitions will ensure optimum usage of light and dark ink, therefore allowing you to decide where to use light inks to ensure optimum output in regards to graininess and color management control. At the end of the profiling process, Roland Print Studio offers a very advanced color gamut viewer, allowing you to see all of the defaults and effects of your profile. The shape and the advanced color analysis allow you to see just how well your profile will be able to reproduce colors.